Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 25 in the series and is entitled Link in ASP.NET 4.5 using C Sharp. Language Integrated Query or Link has similarity with SQL. It can select, filter, sort, group, or transform data. It can also work with objects, datasets, XML, and entities. An example of link declaration is this one, wherein uh, the students is the data source and S is an alias for items in the data source. For activity number 25, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP activity 25. Inside the AppCode folder, we will create a class called student with field student ID and name. Then we will create a constructor to set the values. We will add a web form with two grid views and a text box. We will declare a list called students with five rows. When the user types a text in the text box and presses enter, we will display in the second grid view the row that has the name starting with that text. Let's create our website, file new website. We'll call it activity 25. And here we will add an ASP.NET folder for app code where we are going to add a class there and we're going to call this class student. Our student class will have two fields. We're going to declare them as public. First one is the student ID. Let's put this get and set. And the second one is string. Let's call it name and get and set. And for our constructor, we're going to simply assign values to our student ID. So that means we need some arguments here. Integer S ID and string. Let's call it N. So this is equal to S ID. And our name is equal to N. Okay. Class for our class. Now we can create our web form. It's default. Let's go to the design here. We will add the grid view. Yeah, here from data. So this grid view one. Below it, we'll type starts with. And then a text box. Text box one will set auto post back to true. Okay, and then below it is our second grid view. Okay, now we can go to our code behind. In our code behind, the first thing we have to do is to declare a public list for our student class. Let's call it students. So that is equal to our new list student class. Okay. So it's public. Now in our page load, we can start adding some rows. New student First one, Abdullah or Abdallah. I'll just copy it. Okay. One, three, four, and five. The second and third and fourth and fifth. Second is Ali. Third is Salem. Fourth is Mariam, and the last is Allah. Okay. Now we can set the data source for our grid view to students. Data source is equal to our students. Then we can bind it. Grid view one dot data bind. 
So now we were able to put in our grid view all the contents of our students list. Let's go back to default. This time we're going to create an event when the text box is changed. So we can now create our data source result. Let's call it starts with and our statement will be from our alias let's say s in our list of students where s that name starts with so this is the condition whatever is inside the text box one that text text box one that text correct and we will select S. That's it. That is our link. Now we can connect it to our grid view to that data source is equal to starts with there. Then bind it. Grid view to that data bind. Okay, that's it. Let's try it. Control F5. Okay, so that's our grid view one with uh, all the uh, all the rows from uh, students. Uh, let's say starting with capital A. Okay, there Abdullah Ali and Allah starts with M. That's Maria. To continue with our activity, we will add another text box that when entered will display rows that contain the text in the name field. So instead of starts with, we're going to use the method contains. We will use for each first and then afterwards we're going to convert it to link to see the difference. Okay, so let's go back to default. Uh, so we'll add here contains. And beside it is a text box, text box two, and of course, auto pause box should be two. Then we can create our event. So uh, the idea is that we should start with um, for each. So declare student contains. That's the name of our data source. Contains is equal to new list from student so we'll use for each for each student our alias is s in students so we need to use a condition statement if as that name that contains whatever is inside text box two the text we will add it in contains our data source that's it class so green view two that data source first Set the data source to our contains and then we have to bind it. Grid view to that data bind. Okay. Let's run it again. Okay, so containing L there Abdullah Ali Salem and Allah. Containing a D only Abdullah. Okay, so this time we're going to change this into a link statement. Let's first uh, comment this one. Instead, we're going to convert this to a link statement. So the data source result is contains from our alias in our data source students where s.name uh, contains that contains whatever is inside text box to that text and we will select our all from s that's it that is the leak so this is this the equivalent statement of this for each statement let's look at it in our browser and do the same l okay same result
Well, congratulations. We just finished discussing link in ASP.NET. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Maas salamat.